Welcome back to Advent of Vim, day five. Today we're going to talk about scrolling. This will be a little bit shorter than the last ones, I guess. So we've got this North Pole Operations Logbook here that some little elf created for us. We can scroll around here quite comfortably, I guess. So let's just start with Control D. Control D takes you down half a page, half a screen. So let's try it out. Control D. Oh, and we got this scroll off setting on, I guess, because we are not on top of the screen with the cursor anymore. Let me just disable it and go back to the top of the file and try again. Control D. Now we are half a screen further down, but we're, our cursor still stayed on top of the screen. And now we can spam Control D to scroll down half a page. I find this quite nice because you have some context left. You can also scroll back up half a page with Control U. But of course, you can make even bigger jumps. You can use Control F to scroll down a complete screen here. Control B takes you back up a complete screen. I'm going to have to press Control B twice here because I'm in my Tmux session and my Tmux prefix key is Control B. So for one Control B to actually arrive at Vim, I need to press it two times. So don't uh, get confused by that. So Control B, Control B. But usually you just would have to press it one time. But if these scrolling steps are too large for you, you can also use Control E to scroll down line by line as well as control Y to scroll up line by line. You see the cursor stays in the same place here, just the, the whole file scrolls here. Now the cursor is here a little bit on the, on the lower side of the screen. Um, maybe you wanna have it on top of the screen. I find this quite helpful sometimes. It's not really scrolling, but I use it in conjunction with that sometimes. So if you press control H, you jump to the top of the screen with the cursor without scrolling the screen. Capital L jumps to the bottom of the screen and capital M jumps right in the middle of the screen. So the way I remember this is capital H is high, capital L is low and capital M is in the middle. I don't know if this was the intention with naming these, but that's at least what I got in my head. Probably I, I read it somewhere or in, in the help files. Now the reminder that it has to be in every one of these videos, please like, subscribe, hype, and share these videos. Also consider the membership options. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you. So something else that's remotely related to the scrolling thing. Let's say my cursor is down here and I don't want to have to look down on the screen the whole time, but I want to stay on this line. I can press ZZ and this will center the line the cursor is on, or I can press ZT and this brings it to the top or ZB if I really want to have this line on the bottom of the screen. Now you can start a debate if it's called Z or Z. You probably have an opinion about that. Feel free to discuss in the comments. So as I said before, this will be a short one today. If you need some more content, you can go on and rewatch. I hope you watched them already. The first four episodes of these. Please feel free to also leave some suggestions in the comments. Come back tomorrow for a new episode. Thanks for watching. See you around and take care.